and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be harvesting some honey and I'm going to show you the way to do it uh, using a, a honey extractor. By the way, this is my first time doing it, so we're both learning in this situation. I'm going to show you the equipment that you're going to need. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need your frames. I'm just going to show you one of them because they're quite heavy. But this is the frame, one of the frames you've got and it's quite full of honey like I explained in the last uh, last video it's in something called a collecting can which is, uh, you can get them in a variety of sizes and shapes and they're mainly made out of plastic but they have a little tap thing here uh, and you can store honey in this for like a long time and stuff next you also need uh, a smaller bowl uh, perhaps not this small, a little bigger would be more comfortable you need another bowl to uh, store the um, wax cap, wax capping and extra beeswax and then you can obviously sieve that after to get even more honey out of it. Uh, you have a uh, capping tool? You have a capping tool, thanks mum. <laughs> you have a capping tool here which actually does get rid of the caps quite well. Uh, these two sieves, uh, the reason why you need two is because uh, the beeswax can get quite small so you kind of want to get as much of it out as possible. So we're going to start with the capping process. So I've got one of our frames. Some of it's already slightly um, slightly bent in so you can actually see the honey kind of seeping out. I've actually seen various methods of how people do this. You can obviously use one of these but you can just use a knife as well and just slice it down. So you just kind of drag it down a bit until like the honey starts to drip. You can just do it on the surface if you don't want to damage the comb too much. Yeah. Because obviously, with these things, you can just recycle them, take them back to the bees and stuff. Get off me too. And it's okay if you accidentally go a bit too deep because you can use whatever's left in this bowl and sieve that as much honey out. Yeah, that's one side basically uncapped. Um, and uh, you basically want to do it on the other side as well for all of your frames. So, we're back and I finished uncapping the uh, comb and I put it in the... Uh, I put it in the uh, uh, box. I've forgotten what it's called, but like... Put it in here so it can seep a little bit. I want to take a minute to talk about the honey extractor. It's like a big um, barrel kind of machine thing. Uh, it's actually one of the smaller ones. If you come inside and see that there's um, the space for three frames here. And um, it's a manual one, so uh, you don't have to plug it into a wall or anything. But it does mean that it's more work. So you kind of just do this and it spins it around quite fast. And the way it works is that it basically spins the honey out of the cells. Uh, obviously you need to go at a reasonable pace, not too fast or anything like that, because you might get the wax flying out too. Uh, it also has this kind of tap thing at the bottom, so the honey would like drip out of there basically. But since we don't have a lot of honey to work with, the case is that we might just have to tip this over into the sieves. But uh, for now, I'm just going to pop the frames in. Um, this is actually uh, rapeseed honey. It's got a different colour to it compared to the other one we've got. Um, the other one, I'll just pick it up and show you, is uh, wildflower honey. So this is all wildflower honey. It's quite golden. So uh, yeah, and you just kind of pop it down like so. And then I'm going to put the next one in there as well. It's quite messy work. So, just stick that in there. It should rest on uh, the bottom, the bottom brackets over there. Also, get lids with it too, so then you don't get anything splashing. And it's a good practice to just make sure this is fully closed in case anything comes out the bottom. And uh, you just kind of spin it, just spin it, and you can already see that. It's kind of going around the sides quite a bit. Because if you spin it too hard, then the wax also comes through. Not like 
You can't spin it lightly or nothing comes out kind of thing. Medium power. And since it's manual, you got to uh, do it for a solid 15 minutes. But you know. Hello again. Uh, you probably noticed that I'm wearing something different. It's because we split this video in two because uh, when you're extracting the honey, you've got to give it intervals to rest as well. So now, we've fully extracted some from one frame. I'll explain why we haven't in the other one. But this is what the empty frame looks like. And as you can tell, it's like completely empty. And you know, nothing really goes to waste when it comes to stuff like this because we can just give it back to the, the bees and they'll completely clean it out. So as for the actual honey, uh, earlier I put what was in the extractor into this filter. Uh, it's a double filter, so it's got this one here which takes out the larger pieces and this bit here which takes out the finer pieces. And then in here you've got some honey. It doesn't look like a lot, but that's just because we only harvested uh, one frame. Um, and it still doesn't look completely filtered, but I'm going to run it through the filter once more. You're probably wondering what we're going to do with these pieces in here and um, you don't actually have to waste these you can just put these straight back into the filter because there's actually quite a lot of honey in these usually you use more than one frame to um, to harvest honey but like uh, since we only used one it doesn't actually meet the level so when you uh, harvest honey you want to be doing it in bigger batches since this is a demonstration it's not the end of the world um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to filter it once more and then we're going to put it into bottles. Hi, so we're back. I've finished filtering it twice and I've put it into some jars. Uh, we managed to get two jars of honey. It doesn't look like a lot, but this is quite a wide jar, so I'd say a decent amount for just a one frame. Um, now the reason why I didn't harvest the other frame, the reason why this is all uh, crystallized honey That means the honey is all solidified and it's kind of stuck in the comb So we couldn't get it out through the extractor so we're probably going to just have to give this back to the bees But you know, uh, there's really not much way of telling if it's crystallized or not So it's a bit of a gamble Now um, you're probably thinking what else can I do with, with you know the bee stuff. So um, there's a lot of things you can do with the beeswax as well. So you can actually make a lot of like beauty products. So you can make like lip balms and salves and stuff. Um, we don't really personally do that stuff. We kind of just do it for the honey. But uh, it's also um, beeswax candles are quite a big thing. And uh, you know beeswax is quite an expensive wax. So you can make a you can make uh, some good well not some good money. You, you can make a little bit of money through uh, bee goods and stuff. So, this is how you extract honey. Uh, there's probably a simpler way to do it, um, but uh, this is the way I've done it, and it seems to work well for us. So, you know, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, and hit subscribe if you want to see more, and if you have any other suggestions, pop them in the comments below. Uh, I'll probably respond to them. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.